To submit a copy request on the new online digital storefront platform, click the Print Center icon on the quick launch of the employee portal. On the main page of the Print Center, you will find location, hours, contact information for the Print Center, as well as a way for you to access school logos, the old copy request archive, where you can log in, view your past orders on the old system, and actually download PDF files to use on new copy requests. Find additional curriculum for elementary. Click Digital Storefront to start the ordering process. You should always log in to the Digital Storefront before attempting to create an order. Click Login in the top right corner. Click Single Sign-On to automatically log into the platform. Now you will see your name in the top right corner. When you click your name, you will actually be able to see a menu of different options. The first option is your order history and status, which will allow you to actually go in and reorder from your past orders. From the main page of the digital storefront, you will find featured products. So if you'd like to make a collated stapled document, click Order Now. From the next screen, you will be able to add your own files. When you click Add Files, you can actually add items from your Google Drive, including Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides. They will automatically be converted to PDF in the process. You can also upload Word and Excel documents in the same way. If you'd prefer to upload from your H drive or your desktop, you can choose the Upload Files option. I will use my Google Drive for the tutorial. You may need to give authorization in the process. Now that I'm into my Google Drive, I can go through my folders and find items that I want to use in this project. All of the items will have PDF icons in front of them if they are in the proper format to upload. This does not mean that they are PDF documents. It means they will become PDF documents. Click OK to complete the upload, and then click Done to perform the conversion. After the upload has completed, you will actually be able to preview the pages of your document. It's a good idea to name all of your jobs for future reference especially if you'd like to reorder them at a later time. I need 20 copies, and currently the document has two pages. I can't change the number of pages the document has here, but I can over in the preview area, in either the full page view or in the thumbnail view. Notice that the document will need a backside if you are not doing front and back, and that will just be white. If I do not need page 2, I can simply right-click on either the thumbnail or full view and do Remove Page. If I return to full view, I can see that this will be printed in black and white ink. Your choices are over here for color. When you do switch to full color ink, notice the price changes drastically on the bottom. So I think I'll leave this one at black and white ink, just to save on the cost. In the orientation, I can switch from landscape to portrait. In the media, I can switch my color to colored paper. So if I'd like to have canary yellow, push OK. And now all of my pages will be on canary yellow. Also under media, I can switch any of my custom jobs to bond or index paper. On the left-hand side, you may have to scroll depending on how many options are available for this project. When I'm ready to add this to my cart, I will click Add to Cart. And now this item has been added to my cart. When I scroll up to the top, I will see I have a, one item in my cart, which I can edit before I actually check out. In addition to featured products, I can scroll down the page to find curriculum that has already been pre-populated to the storefront and is ready to order. I can go into the curriculum category to find items for elementary grade levels. 
If I click grade three as an example, I can then go into everyday math. And from there, I may need to order activity cards. I may find the option to select just one unit or units one through four for this example that may be for the first half of the year and then I can order the second half of the year units five through nine closer to that time period. So for this example I'll order units one through four and click order now. This will allow me to come in and put in my quantity that I need. So I need 20 copies and some of the things are preset for these orders so you don't have as many choices. I can then add this to my cart. I now have two items in my cart. When I click on my cart, I can see the items. I could save one of the items for later or remove it completely or adjust the quantity from this screen. We should caution you that if you order too many things at one time in your cart, they are all hooked to one due date. So you may want to limit how many things are in your cart each time so that your due dates are more accurate. You will need to select a due date for all of the items in the cart. So I'm going to give them some time and pick October 7th. Click Save. And now I'm ready to proceed to checkout. There are three steps in the checkout process. First is shipping. From the drop-down menu, select if you want the order shipped to your school or you'd like to pick it up at the print center. Next, you will see that your first and last name are pre-populated from the single sign-on, but you do need to put in your phone number, school, and your email address is automatically pre-populated. There is a location for you to enter delivery instructions or any other instructions you have for the order. Click Save to save the information for future reference on future orders. If everything looks correct, click Proceed to Payment. From here, the only thing you will need to do is pick a budget code that matches your order. Click Place My Order to finish the process.